Superman's an alien. He's got a poop fetish. If anything, James Gunn's work with both the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad loudly broadcasts his love of obscure, often batshit bizarre comic book characters, with the latter film giving us cannon fodder like Javelin, Savant, Polka Dot Man, and uh, this confused, child-killing Afghan hound. Did anyone check on where the weasel could swim? Given that the Suicide Squad is part of the DCEU, which also contains the gloomy gravitas of Zack Snyder's Justice First, it's extremely amusing to see these bozos get swept up into the mix. That's right, this guy, who may have a poop fetish, exists in the same cinematic universe as this guy, who is definitely someone else's fetish. Gunn's Peacemaker series on HBO Max is no different, offering up the same R-rated gonzo absurdity that the Suicide Squad delivered, including more goofy-looking, body-snatching aliens, heaps more blood spilled in the name of saving the world, and, yep, ludicrous sea-level comic book buffoonery. Do you really want to taste these ridiculous rejects? Let's take a look at which niche nutjobs Gunn has plucked from his back catalog of crazies placed firmly within the current DC movie canon. Do you actually believe that sh he has an insane story for every single superhero. First up is Vigilante. Vigilante's a bit, uh... An empathy devoid idiot who lives to murder low-level criminals and also the occasional accidental innocent person. Portrayed nothing like the nine characters who've been Vigilante in the comics, this version of Adrian Chase is a disarmingly charming trailer park busboy who somehow manages to pull off both psychotic and adorable. Played by the pretty prince from Bridgerton, Freddy Stroma, Vigilante considers himself to be Peacemaker's VFF, though the feeling isn't exactly reciprocated, making old Vig the only guy in the squad of misfits who no one wants to pair up with. Okay, maybe in not all instances. Next up is White Dragon, who also went through a few iterations and identities in the comics, though both of the versions Suicide Squad writer John Ostrander created were repugnant racist bags like the one played by Robert Patrick and Peacemaker. On the show though, White Dragon is Peacemaker's father, Augie Smith, who raised his son under a cruel cloud of white supremacy and wickedness. Augie's hairstyle, which can only be described as Third Reich Beaker, is also a new vibe. Another ferocious foe on the path to peace is Judo Master, played by Newt Lee on the series. As a green-clad, small-statured snack boy of few words who can whoop your butt lickety-split unless you're a van, Judo Master started as the henchman for the alien-possessed Senator Goff and went on to be a weirdo wild card after that. In the comics, Judo Master is a legacy name used by three different martial arts superheroes, but here, he's a feisty fighter with no clear allegiance who'd be a master of stealth if it weren't for the continuous crunch of Cheetos. Judo Man. After this, we've got Riddler and Mad Hatter. These two are only mentioned. Batman has a coterie of supervillains. Joker, Riddler, Mad Hatter. So what? But that's still confirmation they exist. Obviously, we knew Joker was in the DCEU, but now two more Bat Baddies are on the list. And no, tambourine player for Slipknot, Riddler, doesn't count because Matt Reeves as the Batman isn't in the DCEU. That is, until we hear otherwise. Or until the franchise pushes its own multiverse buttons with the Flash movie later this year. Anyhow, rest assured if James Gunn had his druthers with Riddler and Mad Hatter, they'd be very, very silly. Hatter would probably have a teensy little hat on his d Where do you get this nonsense? Google. Another big DC character mentioned, though not until the Peacemaker finale, is Green Arrow, along with uh, Green Arrow's particular fan convention proclivities. A dude goes to brony conventions dressed in the back half of Twilight Sparkle with a four inch wide butthole drilled in the costume. And look, Green Arrow is no stranger to live action DC storytelling. The character obviously anchored the entire Arrowverse on the CW for almost a decade, but he's never been present in the DCEU. Anyhow, given what's revealed about everyone's favorite Twilight Sparkle stand here, it's funny to note that James Gunn debunked a rumor back in fall of 2020 that this series would actually introduce a live action Green Arrow to the DCEU ranks. Turns out, the rumor was, well, half right. Okay, moving on. Also referenced on the show was Kite Man, who's been a long-standing comic book joke until the Harley Quinn animated series recently redeemed him. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's still a joke, but maybe less of a joke, more of a jape. You can't be Poison Ivy's fiance and not be considered at least a partial baller. Let's call him a gentle jest. On Peacemaker, though, he's an integral part of the John Cena character's makeup as his capture garnered our titular wannabe hero his first and possibly only good guy headline. Kite Man, as his name suggests, soars through the sky on a giant kite, which regular people call hang gliding. But who are we to kite shame? 
Okay, these final few represent some of the dopiest corners of DC, but the show says they exist, so damn it, they're in, baby. First up, Dollman. Hey, Dollman? You ever meet him? Dollman? He turns small. Well, Dollman's minuscule digits disturb Peacemaker to no end. He'll tell you all about it. You ever seen a one millimeter finger? Gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> According to our trigger-happy hero, homunculi, like Dollman, can all go kick rocks. Then there's Matter Eater Lad. Ever since I had a team up with Matter Eater Lad, my sense of what's known was a little f***ed up. An alien who, as his name suggests, can chow down on anything considered inedible. Steel bars, concrete, Papa John's, he can inhale it all. Peacemaker even saw him devour, well, he'll explain it. I once saw him eat an entire Wendy's restaurant. Did you learn he ate a restaurant? No, Matter Eater Lad, that's his power, he can eat anything. Or was it like one bite at a time? How long did it take? Did the Frosties help wash it down, or did they make it harder to swallow? We have matter-eating questions. And then there's Batmite. I'd rather be with Batmite than you. Whose existence perplexes even Peacemaker, which takes a lot after Starro, the butterflies, and apparently seeing a dude cram an entire fast food restaurant down his throat. Two foot tall interdimensional imp who stands Batman. Yep and you thought single-dimensional fandom was terrible. Batmite is what happens when you give magical powers to the person at Comic-Con who walks up to the mic during a Q&A panel and doesn't really have a question. And we want so badly for him to become more than just a name drop. He's part of the DCEU. Have him make out with Darkseid and then watch the cash roll in. So those are all the loonies who now exist in the DCEU thanks to Peacemaker. But what other characters should James Gunn throw into season two? Let's discuss in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.